Officials from Armenia's government participated in Innovate Armenia, a festival of ideas and action that took place at the University of Southern California on May 18. Aravik Anapiosyan, Deputy Minister of Education, was there to talk about the challenges, strategies, and solutions for reforming Armenia's educational system. We need to understand that um, in order for developing of a country, education is foundational. The only greatest capital that Armenia has is human capital. And for human capital, we really, human capital development, we really need to have a very rigorous education system. To have a change in education, there are three ways. Either you create, so one is to create an alternative system, which we do not want to create. We don't want to have alternative realities. The second thing is to have small changes within an existing system, but it's not sustainable and it's not bringing this leapfrog development that we want for the country. So the only way, like, the only development uh, option left is to change the system. This requires a lot of investment uh, in terms of the knowledge and know-hows as well as financial investment. And to change the system, we're going to have the the development and the actual impact in 10-15 year time and it's going to be really very um, challenging to address all the complications and to change the culture the way we think about education because education is not for the purposes of just being educated education is for the purposes of development for human capital development for the development of the country integrity the, from personal to professional integrity is of utmost importance if we want to build an institution that will be running as a mechanism for the generations to come. I believe that diaspora can be our key partners. Um, from the know-hows to the um, collaboration and partnership that we can establish for along the projects that we have. I mentioned about integrity and it's important for all Armenians around the world to trust in government, to have this trust in the integrity of the system that the government is building and in the end of the day integrity of the individuals that are running the system. Um, a lot of people that have joined the government have joined purely for the purposes of having the change and this partnership that we can establish with, them, with the diaspora communities along the synchronization of the government policy agendas would even boost and accelerate the development that we have. And in the field of education, for instance, there are so many brilliant educators here in LA that um, have retired or are willing to support somehow Armenia, give their knowledge. We think of creating, for instance, a network of mentorship where um, professionals could provide this mentorship to teachers. So I think that there are mul multiple and a number of untapped opportunities in collaboration, but we need to sit together and try to coordinate our efforts. Women empowerment, women and girl empowerment is my personal, is on my personal agenda. Women are smart, Armenian women are so smart, they're super smart and they are very empowered once they are given this opportunity. I did mention about gender mainstreaming and this is a priority from textbook to the curricula to make sure that um, the girls know the importance of their individual and the importance they can bring to the development of the world. So. There are a number of initiatives that we do with uh, developing partners like UNDP on girl tech education and on empowering women and politics at the rural communities. The statistics shows that we have more women in, uh, ex in being excellent and receiving excellent grade in education uh, in comparison to men, but then we have more male representatives in their leadership positions. So we want to also make sure that there is this change of perception of who is a woman in politics and in leadership uh, positions so that there can be role models for our girls and for women to, to see that they can actually have an impact in, in, in the world. But at the same time, we want to underline that it's important for women empowerment, not for the sake of being a woman, but because women are very smart.